Okay, so I didn't have my phone yesterday, so we couldn't record our progress, but we got the walls up. After we put the walls up, or while we were gone, we'd stand a section and then level it and brace it. Stick the uh, bottom frame with the hammer claw and pull it in so you know you're tight to the outside wall. Um, so we got the walls done and then we put up our ridge board, as you can see. And basically what we did was we figured out where the center of the building was. And um, we kept our ridge board just to the right of center so that our, our ridge board, well not the ridge board, but the, the framing that holds the ridge board. We kept it three quarter to the right so our ridge board would fall right in the center of the building. And uh, we put one section on and braced it up so it's good. Ain't going nowhere. We're relatively, the ridge board is relatively in the center of the building. And um, then we got our rafters laid out. So what we did was because this is a 412 pitch roof, we just cut a 412 down here on one end of the rafter at the very end. Figured out what our 412 was, cut that. And then we took it up and, and we put it on our ridge and we hung it just on the side of our wall, right here. Grab a, let me grab, grab a board. Yeah. So what we did was we we put it on our ridge board. We pulled all our layouts. The rafter with the 412 on it. Then we set it on the brace right here, and we pushed, put it up just to where the tip meets the, the top of the wall and then we just essentially just drew our scribed a line for the bird's mouth. So that worked out real good. So we got our template. And you want to use that that one template for each one. You don't want to you know use the template for this and then use this as a template for the next one. You want to Stay consistent with the one, the original, so it don't get off as you go. So that's what we're doing today is we're putting up rafters.